How the Stars Fell into the Sky, a Navajo Legend, Jerry Uten, illustrated by Lisa Desimini. When the pulse of the first day carried it to the rim of night, first woman said to first man, The people need to know the laws. To help them, we must write the laws for all to see. Write them in the sand, he told her, but the wind will blow them away, she answered. Write them on the water, then, he said, and turned to go, having more important matters on his mind. But they will disappear the moment I write them on the water, first woman called out. First man turned back impatiently and looked at her squatting there on the rim of night, a blanket of stars at her feet. Why don't you write them in the sky, he said. Take your jewels there and write them in the sky. She began, slowly, first one and then the next, placing her jewels across the dome of night, carefully designing her pattern so all could read it. But first woman was not alone. Behind a low tree, Coyote crouched, watching her as if she crafted her careful mosaic on the blackberry cloak. in a voice that sounded like the wind, whine of an arrow whistling in the wind. Why are you tacking up the night sky with your jewels? Oh, she answered deliberately, shifting a star. I am writing the laws so all the people can read them. There will be no confusion if we can all see the laws. Her hands glowed from the warmth of the stars she was touching, and she smiled as she toiled. May I help, Coyote? First woman nodded. Begin here, she said, and handed him a star. Coyote hung the star and stepped back to look. He hung another and another, but for each star he hung, first woman's blanket held a hundred thousand more. This is slow work, he grumbled. Writing the laws could take many moons, she said, and began humming to herself. Can we find a faster way and be done? Coyote asked. Why finish? What is there to do next that is half so important as writing the laws? The people will see the laws before they enter their hogans at night. The young mother will sing of them to her child. The lonely warrior crouching in an unknown country will look up and warm himself by them. Writing the laws may be what I do each night for the rest of my life. But Coyote lacked first woman's patience. He loved best to see a job finished. Impatiently, he gathered two corners of first woman's blanket, and before she could stop him, he flung the remaining stars out into the night, spilling them in wild disarray, shattering first woman's careful patterns. First woman leaned far into the night and watched the tumbling starts. What have you done, you foolish animal? She shrieked at Coyote. He crept away while first woman wept because there was no undoing what Coyote had done. As the pulse of the second day brought it into being, the people rose and went about their lives, never knowing in what foolish haste Coyote had tumbled the stars, never knowing the reason for the confusion that would always dwell among them. As you see, this is a Sivani Diakar Badri Venketa production.